Senzel, uh, tell us when you first heard that there was a possibility that you might not be able to play. Um, when I got here my freshman year, I uh, we had a physical and pretty much they told me that, you know, that afterwards they told me had I had any previous problems with anything. And I was like, no, you know, I felt fine. And uh, they told me that uh, I wouldn't be able to work out for a while. So, I mean, I just did what they told me to do. Then as the season went on, you know, I had workouts and everything. I was able to start working out and things began to progress for me. But, you know, I was about two weeks ago that they told me that I would have to sit out this year and possibly years after that. But I'm still, you know, pretty optimistic that I'll be able to play again. But it's not really something that's heavy on my mind, really. It's just something that God throws at you. It shows you how big of a man you are. So it's something that i got to be able to handle and go with it. So, so you're still leaving your options open? Right, yes, sir. Okay. What, what is the issue? It's pretty much like a blood deal with my heart. I mean, uh, it's nothing serious, like deadly or anything, but it's something that was more or less Coach Johnson and I's decision for me to kind of sit out because you'd rather be safe than sorry with something like that. So, um, I mean, I kind of kept it back because people these days, you know, with jobs and things, you know, people let certain things affect what you do, and I'm not the kind of person to let things hold me back. So I still do everything I used to do. I just don't hit people anymore, <laughs> but uh, but uh, I mean, I hope to get back out there. You know, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty near where I need to be as far as to be able to play again. But you know, it's just this year they felt that it's been that long enough. So I'm gonna still get tested for everything I need to get tested for, and hopefully after that, you know, I'll be able to play again. But if not, life goes on. Football doesn't last forever. It was the reason I came to Tech because I knew the degree from here, from anywhere else really was unprecedented. So I mean, I couldn't complain really. I had God put something in my life, we'll put two things in my life, football and academics, and the academics is working out for me better right now, but hopefully, you know, I'll be able to play football again, so, but if not, it's not the end of the world, so. What are you pursuing uh, academically? Uh, information technology, and I'm going to pick up finance this year, and, uh, but I'm actually a main degree is management. So, uh, what, what are you doing to, to maybe stay in football type? I uh, I run and I lift every day still. I still stay connected with the team. I uh, when school gets back in, I mean I don't have to go to workouts, but I'm still going to go. You know, I love working out and running, so that's like my favorite thing to do really besides read a book or something. So I uh, I run about a mile and a half a day. I will lift about an hour and 15 minutes a day. But instead of doing heavy weight now, I'm kind of doing higher reps. But that's the only thing that's changed really. Just to stay calm. Right. Yeah. Yes, sir. What is the condition called? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I am. Um, that's something my father knows, but and Dr. Cantwell, they know it. But I really couldn't. I still don't know what it is, believe it or not. But um, it's something confusing. It's something long. If I could tell you, I would. But there's <laughs> nothing I'm trying to hide from me. But I really don't know the name of it. So people ask me all the time, you know, what it is, and I just tell them the situation. I don't know the name though. I really. <laughs> that's something my doctor knows. Have doctors told you that the condition can improve? That oh yeah. You know? I mean, that's the good thing. It has improved. I mean, from where I was when I came here to now. I've increased substantially, so I mean, that's something that I'm blessed to be able to go through because, you know, most people with this kind of condition, whatever it's called, <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> they aren't able to really make it out of the first stage, and I'm pretty much in the advanced stage. I'm just right there on the edge, just waiting for a chance to be able to come back and play, so I just got to be optimistic about it. That's the thing I like about myself, actually. I'm a happy kid, so, <laughs> I mean... Is there medication you're taking? Or? Uh, yes, there's a there's two pills. I'm taking a, a, a fish oil and a vitamin, really. And those really, you know, people, believe it or not, they neglect fish oil. And I mean, it's something that everybody needs, really, because everybody has some kind of coronary, coronary problem that you don't know about. And fish oil kind of it regulates you. Right. So, I mean, that's the main thing. And that and a, a multivitamin I'm taking. So. Okay. Coach, Coach, Coach mentioned that you, uh, you might be working in the office helping out there. Has he mention anything specifically what you'll be doing? Oh yeah, with Liam, I'll be having Liam, you know, I love to talk to people, so <laughs> I can talk to a wall and be fine, but uh, I mean, that's kind of something I'm excited about doing, is helping out with recruiting, because that's something I've always want, kind of wanted to do. I mean, with our class and this year's class, I'll talk to a few kids, and I still talk to kids that are possibly coming in, because I know so many people, and I guess, you know, I, that's where I fit best, you know, helping out the team that's not on the field, really, so I mean, I'm excited about it. I've known Liam. He was the first person I met at Tech, even before Coach Johnson. So um, I'm real happy and excited about that. I, uh, like, like I said, I love talking to people. So <laughs> I guess that'll be something good for me to be doing. And, and that, that goes way back to when you were a recruit. Right, yeah, when I was in high school. So, I mean, that goes way back to then. So 
and I still talk to all those guys. So, I mean, that's one of the things I like when a kid comes into school. I know what it feels like. So that's why I'm glad I'm able to do this because I know what they're going through. You know, it's not something easy. You know, there's a lot of pressure from media, your family, your friends, people telling you one thing about another thing. I just want people, kids to be able to sit back and relax and, you know, just know that, hey, I'm a kid that was, used to play, so, you know, I can help you out. I know how you feel, I man. I went through this already. Yeah. yeah. What are your, your teammates, what are they, what has their reaction been to the whole I mean, situation? everybody was like, wow, man, you know, people knew I was out or whatever, but, I mean, my teammates don't treat me the same. You know, I still say hey to them. We still talk all the time. I mean, like Coach Johnson told me, the only thing that changes is I can't play. You know, I'm still on the team. I can still do this and do that, but... I mean, they'll call me, check on me, text me, you know, they'll tell me, man, you're lucky, it's hard out here, you know. <laughs> it's not for everybody, so, you know, uh, I'm just, I'm glad that they're still here to talk to me and everything. That, that was something that really meant a lot to me was that my teammates still kept in contact with me, you know. Just because I can't play doesn't mean I'm not on the team. It just means that it's just a setback for me. So, you know, that was the main thing that made me pretty happy. Have you actually started working with Liam yet? Or? Not yet. I'll start when school starts. I actually have a job right now, and then once the school year kicks around, I've been talking to him though. But I'm just I'm a, I've been working lately, so and you know with camp going on, not too much I can really right. do with recruiting wise. So what's what's your job that you doing? I uh, work for a marketing agency over in the uh, Virginia Highlands. All right. Yeah, and uh, we do things for major companies. Uh, we've worked with the AJC before, with Fox, CBS. I mean. It's, it's a pretty big deal, but I, it's fun. It's something I like doing. I get to talk to people, like, you know. <laughs> so uh -huh. I sit at a desk, but at the same time, I'm on the phone all the time. I'm online talking to people, trying to get sponsorships. So. What's the name of the company? Tedco Worldwide. Okay. And that's yeah. just like a summer internship? Or? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, summer internship. Um, where will you be on Saturday? Will you be on the field, you think? Or yeah, probably on the field, yes, sir. Definitely. What do you think it'll be like seeing your, your teammates playing? Not having a jersey on and all that. It'll be weird. I uh, I have a couple of friends who play at other schools, and you know they had to sit out due to injuries. Not as serious as mine, but you know it's a weird feeling. Like last year, you know I was able to put on a jersey and things. Hopefully I'll be able to do the same this year. But play football all my life, so it'll be weird. Like whoa, you know. But I didn't play last year, so right. that kind of already, I've already been to that phase. But as long as we win, man, I'm happy. So. <laughs> so you're. Th this is going to be a approach as a year to year. Yes, sir. It'll be. A, I'll still have a couple of tests. I go through two or three times a year, rather than four to five. And um, we'll just take it from there and see. You know, just keep getting evaluated, and hopefully, I'll be able to get back out there either come spring or next year. Has there been a moment for you where it maybe kind of struck you that well, I, I might not be able to play again? Yeah, I uh, recently actually when I uh, spoke with Coach Johnson, I was like, man. And uh, I called a couple of my close, fr close friends at other schools, and they were like, you know, wow, really? And I was like, yeah. But they were like, you know, I couldn't worry about it because there's nothing I can do about it but pray. So, I mean, that was a good thing that uh, I'm big on God and faith. So, I mean, what God has for me is for me. So I couldn't really do anything about it. I couldn't be mad at myself or get down about it because people go through things that are the worst. You know, some people have died out there, man, you know, and. I'm just glad that I can be able to have the chance to still live and be a kid, man. You know, I'm 19, so right. <laughs> I'm not getting down about too many things. I can make money elsewhere, you know. Right. Not everybody can play football, so hey, I'm I'm not down or anything. I'm just like, it, it did strike me that I was like, wow, that's that's crazy. But right. at the same time, I was like, hey, there's a positive side to it. So when you thought that, like, what kind of emotions did you feel? And what, did, what was that? What was that like? it, it was like a happy, sad, you know, uh -huh. sad that I really couldn't play anymore for this year at least, but I was happy because, you know, I get to see my teammates do something they love doing. You know, as long as somebody else is happy, I'm happy too. So, and I get a chance to, you know, do partake in internships and certain things that I wouldn't be able to do. And I've been thinking of a lot of things like ideas to make myself money after school. So, I mean, and when football's not on your mind all the time, it's amazing what you can do. So, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs>